so now we are chapter number 5 and the title is place of supply chapter 5 and this is place of supply what is supply we have already discussed in section 7 read with schedule 1 schedule 2 schedule 3 right and we also know that GST is a destination based tax right so depending upon destination whether a supply will be subject to CGST and SGST or it will be subject to IGST that will be decided isn't it if it is an interstate transaction it means the movement or origin of supply and the destination happens to be in the same state or same union territory this is intrastate and it will be subject to CGST plus SGST or UGST and if it is interstate it means originating from one state and terminating in another state it will be interstate and it will be subject to IGST import is also treated as interstate so that's why it is also subject to IGST right so unless we clearly determine which is the place of supply there is going to be a confusion which tax is payable right and if you pay the amount but under wrong head what happens when you pay CGST and SGST and when you pay IGST what happens the amount of CGST goes to central government this amount goes to state government right IGST goes to this government this goes to central government then government will bifurcate and certain portion retained by the central government and certain portion transferred to right means first of all amount will go to the central government right now here it is a clear cut bifurcation so where you were supposed to pay CGST and SGST by chance if you end up paying IGST what happens Suppose this amount is 2000 rupees. But by mistake, you end up paying 2000 rupees in the name of IGST.
in any case you have paid the correct amount but note in the correct head amount is same but note in the correct head right so if you end up paying IGST when you were supposed to pay this it will not be adjusted it will not be adjusted you pay this tax again and claim the refund here or vice versa and getting the refund how easy task it is got it so why it is important to know which is the place of supply so accordingly you will do that right now see a complicated situation supplier he is based in Mumbai right customer he is based in Ahmedabad any problem not a problem but he wants delivery of the goods at Nasik Mumbai is the Maharashtra Nasik is in Maharashtra customer is in Gujarat now whether you will charge this tax or this tax I'm not asking the answer I'm just giving you a situation because we have not started the chapter yet take another situation just reverse situation supplier is in Mumbai customer is in Nasik and place of delivery is Ahmedabad got it so there are lot many situations where there is a possibility of confusion so how to avoid the confusion that is what we are going to talk about right so lots of clarity will come after we complete this chapter so in the beginning of chapter 5 itself is given the section numbers referred to in this chapter pertain to very first page all the sections in this chapter pertain to IGST Act right neither CGST in any case SGST is not a part of our syllabus so all the sections here those are IGST Act so this is very important otherwise you get confused earlier we have talked about section 10 that was something different what is this right so all the sections referred here these are from IGST Act okay now what we are going to cover in this chapter just a brief of that now everything is depends on supply right now supply may be of only two things either goods or services right and then for goods again two things are possible
डोमेस्टिक डोमेस्टिक कवर्स इंटरस्टेट एज वेल एज इंटरस्टेट बोथ एंड दिस इज इन द कोर्स ऑफ राइट सेम थिंग इज देयर इन केस ऑफ सर्विसेस डोमेस्टिक इंपोर्ट एक्सपोर्ट दिस इज how simple it is to remember these things these are alphabetical first comes goods and later comes services this is also alphabetical first comes domestic then comes import export now you will not forget the content of this chapter right so this chapter talks about the place of supply of goods and services for goods we have domestic as well as import export for services also we have domestic as well as import export right and these are the section numbers okay here we have two subsections here we don't have any subsection here we have 14 subsections and here we have 13 subsections so even numbers uneven numbers <laughs> there are different techniques to remember yes sir right and once these are struck these are remembered for long time clear now let us proceed further page number 2 and 3 we are not going through because whatever i talked about all that is covered in that page number 4 proxies to determine place of supply of service what are the factors to be considered for determining the place of service actually this is only reference later on we are going to talk in detail how many things are important where the supplier is where the customer is where the service will be actually delivered to whom it will be delivered all those factors have to be taken into account so what is given location of service provider location of service receiver place where the activity or takes place and the place where the service is consumed and the place to whom it is the actual benefit goes all these factors have to be considered for determining the place of service because service is little complicated goods are simple right because in case of services there is nothing to move nothing tangible right so things can flow from anywhere to anywhere so that's why the issue becomes little complicated when it comes to services and that is already clear from here 
right here we already have 14 subsections here we have 13 and see in case of goods what is happening right so as far as goods are concerned we have something tangible the goods are physically moving in this case something intangible so where where from and where to and how everything is intangible 